is junior, so you know how students are always on budget and like they don't know what to eat or you know like eating out is really expensive and all. So today I'll be sharing with you a recipe that I made which is Malaysian style fried noodles, also known as Maggi Goreng. So before we start cooking and me showing you how to prepare and all, let's go and get some groceries. Groceries and the first thing is the cabbage. Some chicken. So you're probably wondering if you only need cabbage and chicken for this meal, and the answer is no. I actually have most of the items at home, which are the egg noodles, the carrot, and then the deep fried tofu and duck soy sauce you can actually get from the Oriental market, as well as oil. And some optional things you can add into the noodles would be mushrooms, chili sauce. Seasoning can be in powder form and in liquid form, as well as an egg. First off, I start shredding the skin of the carrot, then I chop it into smaller pieces, and then into smaller pieces as well in rectangular shape. So as you can see, I finished like chopping all my carrots. I prefer like the carrots like with the small pieces because when you eat it, it's not as chunky as like the big ones. Then I actually remove the outer layer of the cabbage and peel the leaves of the cabbage one by one. So basically you just tear the cabbage with your hands. Then after you actually just make it into long strips like this. Because it's easier to eat it with the noodles than you making it like chunks. Basically you just use your knife and you just like slide it down like that. It's really easy. This is how it's supposed to look like. It's like a small thin strip of cabbage. So now I'm done cutting the essentials for the Maggi Goreng, which are the cabbage and the carrots itself. So now I'm going to be cutting the extras, which I'm going to put in chickens and mushrooms into my Maggi Goreng this time. So here are all the vegetables. We have one more thing, which is the deep fried tofu. So for this deep fried tofu, it's really, really good. I really like tofu a lot. So we're going to cut it into small pieces and add it into our noodles as well. So the tofus look like this. And how you're going to cut it is you're going to cut it like really. It's like a miso soup tofu kind of thing. So you're gonna cut it just like how you cut everything into like small pieces. So one tofu you have like five slices like five slices like this. And it's so thin so it's easy to be eaten. So while waiting for my pan to be hot, I'm gonna like crack the egg first so I can like pour it in later. Because I'm preparing a meal for two, so it's actually everything doubled except for the egg because I only have one egg left. But if you're cooking for one person, you actually can reduce the portion by half. So first off, you have to pour some oil in the pan. So I'm going to do it now. Just a little would do, but usually I go with olive oil because it's healthier, but you can use oil as well. Okay, so now it's heated up. I'm going to put the tofu in first to fry it. Because we have so much stuff, we have so much vegetables, we're actually going to like not fully cook the tofu yet, we're gonna like half cook it and then we're gonna add more things inside. Put the stuff fry it. <laughs> this is a lot of mushrooms, you don't have to put so much mushrooms. It's just that my friend and I really love mushrooms. So it's up to you how much you wanna put. Okay, now we're gonna add in the cabbage. So now while waiting for the vegetables to be semi-done, I'm gonna be boiling the noodles. You can actually start boiling the noodles for you. I got this like egg noodles from Asda. Okay, so now the noodles are boiled. I'm gonna be pouring it inside the pan itself to cook it together. Now we're just gonna let it sink in a bit and then we're gonna get this thick sauce to put it inside the noodles as well. So we're gonna be putting it in a bit. Because I like 
it be a bit spicy, I'm gonna be adding a bit chili sauce inside. I'm gonna be mixing it with the seasoning sauce as well. And I usually do like five drops. So after that, you just mix the noodles together. So now you just stir fry it for about three to four minutes. And then it's done! But because I want to add an egg in, so like in a minute, I'm going to be adding like the egg in. Just added the egg in. So this is the outcome of the Malaysian Star Fried Noodles. If you guys actually try this recipe, remember to leave a comment on how your noodles taste. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!